to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and the same reach. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On the next screen, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for They touch him up, man. We are underway. You ready? Are you ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He is pulling a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Lunges forward with a left there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Nice strike. Watch these to the body. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Takedown defense holds up. Left hand punch in the punch. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. I mean, he's cutting him down to size. He's beautiful leg kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And both guys really throwing with authority. Got clip with the right hand. Right hand on point. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Single collar tie now. Muay Thai plump. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Final seconds here. He lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, okay, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. <laughs> Big punch land. Ooh. Very 
tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, he's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Over under here in the clinch, DC. We'll see how both fighters choose to attack. It's as even as it gets in fighting. Chest to chest. One underhook here, one underhook there. Overhook, overhook. Who's going to explode into a takedown from this position? Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Strike right there. Again, back into this position. Uppercut counter by Short. Straight right, he misses. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab. So good to watch MMA ball and watch guys now fight behind the jab. starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. A oh, hook shot blocked there by Choi. Nice side cut. Another huge right. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Great punch. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Mark's in the collar tie now. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting hats. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right punches there. Choi's got the tie clinch now. Left hand punches the clinch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Choi. And they separate. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Head kick land. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Watch the shot. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left hook there. Final seconds here of round number two. Nice All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep.
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Hands high, hands high. Just misses with the straight left hand. previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And now he's got the tie clinch. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big beat. Oh, look at the combination of these now. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. What a punch. Just over three minutes to go now. There's no kill on that leg. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connect. Oh, double oh, right nice there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent worried. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the board? Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Beautiful strike. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Misses with the left hook. Big leg kick land. That one snuck in. Nice strike. The Korean Superboy and try to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious weakness. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Goes to the body there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big kick lands. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the fray. Back to his feet. Final seconds of round three. 
Just out of range with that right hand. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, a good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, nice strike landed there by Short. Big leg kick land. Choi's inner thigh in deep shade of purple at this point. Lands the right hand. Leg kick. Beautiful kick. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Good punch. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big head kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Switching stances here. Nice punch lands over the top. Plus right hand is true. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. As far as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Nice. Back and forth we go here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He's trying to counter. You gotta be first when you're the guy that's dictating the center of the octagon. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Swing and a miss by Choi. Straight right hand counter, useful. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick.
nice straight punch. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. 20 seconds to go. Lands the right hand over the top. Nice shot there defensively to raise the... How about those five minutes? minutes? All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice head kick. A swing and a miss by Choi. What a tricky head kick. Got the single collar tie right on the button. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big head kick land. All collar tie. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Straight punch land. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Body kick now by Choi. Oh, that right hand is on point. That shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big kick. Counter attempt here, but a miss. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Collar tie here. Big body kick land. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Ooh, what a punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Two minutes now to go in this one. Punch. Now tripling up on the jet. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Nice, sneaky head kick. Well, you can chalk this up to a forgettable night at the office. He is losing the fight. His cardio is essentially on empty. Might be time to pass that control. It's time to pass the stick. Hand it over to your homeboy, man. It's over. You try, and there's an A for effort, but it's over. 
Joy's bruise on that thigh is just nasty. It's gonna be hard getting out of bed in the morning. Let's see how he chooses to proceed here. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions. If he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. Oh, a huge block there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He will continue to go. Oh! All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 49-46, and 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion.